Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this interesting problem. We are given that if tangent alpha plus tangent beta are the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus px plus q equal to zero, we are asked to find the value of sine squared alpha plus beta. Okay, let's get started. Remember from the sum and the product of quadratic equation, if you want to find the sum of roots of that quadratic equation, it is as simple as taking the negative the coefficient of x divided by the leading coefficient, which is a. But the sum here means tan alpha plus tan beta because they are the roots of this quadratic equation. So we say that tan alpha plus tan beta will be minus b but what is this b? b is the coefficient of x which is minus p in this case. So we have minus p. Divide by what? a which is the coefficient of x squared. You see the coefficient of x squared is 1 so we don't have to divide by anything. If you simplify this you have tan alpha plus tan beta equal to p. So this is one of the important equations. Now talking about the product, product, the product of quadratic roots can be obtained by taking the constant and dividing it by the leading coefficient. And what is the product? Meaning we should multiply the two roots together than alpha and 10 beta, which is equal to C that is the constant q here. I remember that a is 1, so we don't have to divide by 1. This is another important equation. Our main goal is to get sine squared alpha plus beta, but we can obtain that from time ratio. If you take 10 of these double angles, alpha plus beta, you know this can be simplified as tan of the first angle plus tan of the second angle beta divide by 1 minus the product tan alpha tan beta but we know that the sum of these roots is p while the product is q so we can just substitute that tan alpha plus beta is equal to p divide by 1 minus q because the sum is p the product is q one thing i love about trigonometric identities you can always write one in terms of the other so i think we can write cotangent of alpha plus beta by taking the reciprocal of tangent which is equal to 1 minus q divided by p so now i want us to square both sides this will be cotangent squared alpha plus beta equal to 1 minus q squared divided by p squared. But remember that if you have cotangent squared x, for example, this can always be expressed as cosecant squared x minus 1. So therefore, we can express cotangent squared alpha plus beta as what? Cosecant squared alpha plus beta minus 1. And this will still give us 1 minus q squared divided by p squared. Now we can add 1 to both sides. Cosec squared alpha plus beta is equal to 1 plus 1 minus q all squared divided by p squared. 1 can be expressed as p squared divided by p squared in order to have the same denominator. So cosec squared alpha plus beta is the same thing as p squared plus 1 minus q squared divide by p squared but what is this cosecant squared alpha plus beta 
is nothing but the reciprocal of sine squared alpha plus beta. Therefore, sine squared alpha plus beta is nothing but p squared, if you take the reciprocal of the right-hand side, divide by p squared plus 1 minus q all squared. And hence, sine squared alpha plus beta is nothing but p squared divided by p squared plus 1 minus q squared. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.